we didn't even have a business plan when we started. So it was, it was more of a mission to do something about the yeah, single-use plastic and, and like, hey, like, there's nothing cool. Like, maybe we can transition from single-use plastic to, to our containers because it's cool and it's different, you know? I think the, uh, the whole, like, the, the backcountry snowboarding where, like, you know, being creative, which is, like, being, like, Giga Riff and Nicholas, like, I think that's, in my opinion, uh, being progressive, it's like just new ways to ride natural train and or mountain or whatever. But it's harder that way because you can't you can't teach that. It's not a like it's not on a notebook and you watch a YouTube video over and over. It's like you have to have it and think about it and 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 adapt into situation or you know mountain or a feature and so it's it's a lot more challenging. The moment that I would be that the most proud of and when I enjoy the most is definitely the, the rubber food era. We already done standard films, which we all learned a lot how to be productive and how to work hard like Mike Hatchett's, you know, like they are just like militant at how they operate and, and bringing that back, but then doing it our way. And, and looking back, like how much fun we had, it was just insane. And I think that really uh, came through in those films too, because it's, like we're truly like one group group of friends, you know. My mom worked in photography, and she was um, she she developed the black and white uh, photography in the studio um, since I was born. So when I started traveling, when I was about sixteen, seventeen, I uh, just always had a camera, and then because I was able to get everything, all the film process free. So that kind of sparked my photography, and and then I just bought my SLR uh, um, like uh, six months ago, and I've just been loving it. So it's been so much fun. If you felt like you you couldn't be on top of your what you how you live your life, you know, like if if you're forced to live a certain kind of life, or you know, just you know, I don't know. Like I I feel like. I, I need to feel free, like that's like everything to me. So like just to, like I'm able to live where I love in Southern California, work where I you know, like, I think all those things are important. So if I was somewhere in a place where I didn't want to live, doing something that I didn't like, I think that would be like my fear. Key to happiness, I think, yeah, I think the key to happiness is to have something that you really enjoy. You know, you, you do something what you love. And I've been very, very lucky that I've had that because through snowboarding, I've been able to do what I love. And now I'm here with Mizu, which is my company, and I have so much passion and drive for this. And um, I think that's, that's huge. And then for me, it's, it's family. Like this year, I haven't really missed so much about snowboarding, but but I, because I've been able to do other, a lot of other things. So I shoot all our catalogs and all that stuff. So I've been going to Joshua Tree, to Yosemite, to like all these places where I never was able to go in the winter because it's always been traveling. So just to kind of take in advantage of the, the, the time now and the trips I can do. So I would definitely want to do um, like a, proper like uh, exploring trip like backcountry like camping splitboarding being like two weeks out like i've never done anything like that that's what i would love to do so that's definitely on the on my bucket list and uh then also like you know we want to we want to live in the uh somewhere in the mountains cabin one day so that's that's on the other bucket list